to our affiliates vintage and handmade my name is Naomi and I'm so happy you've joined me here today welcome if you are a new subscriber welcome if you are an old subscriber and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell and you will get notified every time I put up a new video I have a little friend here that is just dying to say hello to you you've probably seen her in another video but she wants to quick say hi to you right now come here come here Sparky come on come here come say hello come on she wants to say hello she wants to say hello there she is say hello Sparky say hello yes there she is there she is all right off you go Today's video is going to be a vintage haul. I am so happy that you really loved my last vintage haul. So I'm going to show you what I got over the last month or so. Mostly June, a little bit of July in there. And uh, let's start off with hats because there's a few of them and you know I love hats. So the first two that I got recently um, is this little gem that is the cutest, most adorable little thing with fruit on top and it has a ribbon in the back there's no tag or anything inside it's velvet and then it has this pleated ribbon around it I think it is so cute and with the right dress and the right hairstyle but isn't it adorable it makes me think that it's like little girl size but I know little girls wore little girl style hats they did not wear miniature versions of adult things like they kind of do nowadays um, so I know that's not the case with this hat um, but it, it's really the cutest thing I've, <laughs> I've ever seen I love it so much $8 find at Bellstar Antiques and then the next one I have is this one which at first I was thinking it was your basic 1960s floral straw pillbox style hat but it's not it is completely open frame work wire like this so it kind of even looks like a flower on the inside then it's covered with the flowers then it has the ribbon with two more flowers on it so it's really cute um let's see how this one looks it's kind of a back of the head kind of thing again hair would have to be styled appropriately but really cute I like that another um, $8 purchase the next group I got these all came from the same estate I have this one is a black velvet with a ribbon or not a ribbon but a bow on the back this one is made by Wilshire and then it has this um, satiny type ribbed fabric around the sides and the crystals on each and the little it's so hard to show black but it has the little pieces that come down on the side on the inside so this one fits like this with a black cocktail dress pretty love this one and the next one in that group is this one which is a very fine woven straw this one is by Cedar Crest it says Cedar Crest original and it has these great dried type flowers on them in green a little bit of green tool with little dots and it goes like this just think of all the dresses I'm going to have to make to coordinate with all these new hats Isn't it darling? Oh, I love hats so much. Okay, I'm a broken record now. 
Okay, and the last one of this grouping is this beautiful confection. These hats are like mint. Like they never, ever went out. Even the netting on this one is intact. Absolutely love all the beautiful flowers. And then this one has the red velvet bow in the back. Quick pop on here. All my hats cost me $8, so that must be my price range. And that is all of the hats for this haul. Now we'll move on to handbags. The first one I got was this little cutie right here. A little plastic woven with um, leather closure and a plastic handle. Um, this one is definitely older handmade in British Hong Kong I would guess probably 1960s really cute I've already used this one this summer I really like the design on the handle here uh, I forget what I paid for this one maybe nine dollars I think so good deal on that one the next one that I got is this beauty now I've seen a few of these go by and I missed them so I'm very happy to finally have one this little lucite brown tortoiseshell colored handbag with the clear diamond print top opens up really cute no cracks or anything really nice shiny condition i have to do a little bit of cleaning because it's just like sticky tape sticky on that one uh, 1950s lucite bag I think I paid eight for this one round about there less than ten dollars that's for certain but I've wanted one of these for a while and that's so awesome I love the color if I hold it into the light you can see all the colors in it very cute and then my biggest handbag treasure this month um, a sweet friend of mine was going to a sale that I knew that this bag was there and I really wanted it uh, and she was able to get it for me so I got a really good deal on this one it is a Whiting Davis metal mesh handbag with the plastic handles which I love these you don't often I mean I've seen many Whiting Davis bags like this in different shapes and sizes but you don't always find them as readily with this type of a strap sometimes they'll just have a plain leather strap or they'll have the metal mesh again but this one has the big bead opening I love this bag and inside it is absolutely pristine this came from the same uh estate as these hats and all the stuff was in beautiful condition and this one has a little bit of a divider that comes out to go inside so you can push that down in the center and divide your contents and then of course it has its original little two-sided vintage mirror that slides in the pocket and it is just in beautiful clean condition no markings on this one but everybody knows a Whiting Davis bag when they see that metal mesh and um, I got a really good deal on this one I won't say what I paid but I absolutely love it and my dear friend if you're watching just know how much I love this bag I've used it once already and um, it's going to stay in my collection for a very long time forever <laughs> thank you again and um, that is the last of the bags that I have to share today then I will move on next to some jewelry that I got um, I picked up a couple of little pins recently 
Um, this one, I don't have my glasses, so I can't tell you what it says on the back. I did look at it when I first got it, but now I forget what it said. It is a very thin plastic, and it is a very old-looking pin back. But it's just this pretty plastic rose. see that and it has something written on the back but you can see it's just a very primitive not a fancy back so I know it's definitely older and most things plastic in jewelry are but I really like this um, paid a few dollars for this one and then this is like a little piece of fur maybe mink and it has a crystal little stone in the center. I don't know if this was purchased or someone made it up like that. It has a glued back on. This is just my thread from the tag. I didn't pull off yet. Um, a few dollars for this one. But I just kind of could see this like on a winter suit. I think that would be really cute to have this little puff of fur right there on your lapel. 1940 style. I really like that. And it's so soft and sweet. And let's see, what else? Um, I picked up these cute little pink floral metal clip earrings. I got those. And then a friend gifted me an entire bag of vintage clip and screw back earrings. There's all kinds of cute ones in here. I'll just give you a sample. I've tried to link some of them together to keep the pairs together, but this is, these are screw back dangle plastic, like a rubbery plastic flower with little crystals in the center. I really like these. These are cute. There's several dangle pair and here's another one. There's a couple that I did not have mates for, but majority of them were all perfect sets. These are like little strung bead daisies right there. Screw. Um, I won't show you all of these. Um, here's a cute little pin which is so cute. It's an artist palette. And all the paints are little colored stones and then the palette is crystals and the little two, two little brushes. I love little novelty pins like this. Here's another one of the earrings. Oh. And these, my favorite color, turquoise. I know that's blaring out. Let's see. Just a turquoise stone and a clear stone. And nice little bag there then my absolute favorite jewelry buy when I first saw this in the store that I was in I wasn't even sure that it was vintage I thought maybe somebody had adapted something to make it look old but then when I saw it up close I could tell that it was really old and the price on it was a steal. For what I have seen, this type of jewelry, vintage, not reproduction, go for online, I got a really good deal. This is a set, a necklace of all these multicolored stone triangular pieces. It's kind of like a 2D fruity type necklace on the plastic chain very old clasp Let's see if I can quick put it in here show you how it looks this is going to be another one of those things that has to have a dress made for it to coordinate with all these beautiful collared stones and it has the matching bracelet This I purchased at a shop in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I paid $20 
for this set, which I think is just fantastic. It's so Carmen Miranda. It's so summery, tropical, all the fun primary colors that I just love about summer clothes and oh, it's just, it's great. I have not worn it yet, of course, because it's gonna need something, something that just sets it off just right. But that's my, that's my favorite jewelry piece that I purchased this month. And I might not be able to get this back off again on camera. I might just have to wait and take it off at the end of the video, which I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I have one more accessory type item that I have purchased. And this is a cute, just a little fabric fan like this, little hand fan. really cute and uh, yeah it's fabric and it has the little wood back so when I was a kid I always had paper fans similar to this and I love them but yeah, they would always get ripped so this is just a nice little novelty uh, tourist piece and I really like all the little hand painting on it and I love that it's fabric so for you know hot summer days when it matches you know coordinates with my necklace here and uh, keep me all cooled off very cute and the last pieces that I have to share with you are extremely interesting to me and I hope you will find them fascinating too. These are original pen and ink drawings that were done by a woman. These were purchased from her estate sale. She apparently did work for newspapers and she did pen and ink drawings when they would do advertising like for department stores it would all just be the actual artwork done up on a paper and some of the or on a, a board an art board um, some of these have the store names on them so these are things that would have appeared as an ad in the newspaper in the 1950s um, the first one was for a store called Himmelhawks now I did look up the two stores that are mentioned here and I think one was in Chicago and I forget where the other one was but um, I forget of course which is which so if you're in the area and know um, either of these stores please let me know what you know about them but I could not resist these here's the first one so this is a pen and ink drawing like of a scarf uh, has some jewelry draped on it a belt a handbag and a shoe and then this is pasted on is the little sticker that says Himmelhawks. I'll give you a close-up of this because the details on it it's just really beautiful and uh, it's like a, a one-of-a-kind piece this is not something you're gonna see every day and this probably would have been the spot where they would put in maybe prices or whatever wording they wanted to use on this advertisement but you can see, I mean, this is this is her original thing. And her name is on the back uh, in pencil. Her name was Jean Mitchell. So she was the illustrator that did this work. Really fabulous. And I'm going to enjoy having these around in here uh, to look at. And I have two more. These next two are a little bit larger. Um, this one has some damage to it, but I'm not faced by it at all. Again, it's all her original artwork, and this is for clothing from a store. Looks like robes and nightgowns. I'll come closer on each one so you can see them. This is the full size of this one. So we have this lady here. I'm trying to get out of the, her hairbrush. And this one in her robe, and then the girl in the plaid robe and the hood. I think they're they're wonderful and when you're up close you can see all her little lines all pen and ink hand done so that's the second one and the last one is Carson Peary 
Scott and Co. Uh, I forget. One of these had been bought out by Bonton, I believe. These ladies, another fashion print right here. Um, I forget one. One of them is, I think, still around, and then the other one uh, is one of the ones that had been purchased by Bonton or one of the other larger um, department store companies. Let me do a little zoom in on these girls. And then the store name is right here. That's also applied, a little paper glued on. But what a treasure. It makes me sad sometimes to think that, you know, these these were something that just ended up basically no one cared about, no one in the family, and this was this woman's art. Um, it, yes, it's an illustration, it was just something for a newspaper, but I find it just as special as art that hangs in a museum so I'm very happy to have these and they will have a good home with me for many years and that is it thank you so much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this vintage haul I want to know what was your favorite item please leave me a comment below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you will know whenever I put up a new video I love hearing from you and until next time bye